welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video so you guys we're getting ready to make some adjustments in this ribbon space because it is beginning to be the um, it's the beginning of spring when it's the beginning of spring I like to do a total refresh in my spaces I like to clean out a lot of the things that have been uh, overwintering in the house and uh, I like to just add different pieces, different elements. I like to lighten up my home during the spring. So Jackson is working on putting together some new bookshelves for our living room. These are really nice. We got these off of Amazon. I can try to remember to link them down below um, if anyone is interested. We are going with more of a farmhouse look here. And so with that being said, uh, we're going to put these together. Jackson and Alana usually put together all of my furniture and they actually enjoy putting it together as a furniture put together team. Uh, they actually find a lot of camaraderie during this time. They sit and talk and chat and they are really the best of friends. They do argue and get on each other's nerves sometimes, but they are honestly the best of friends. Although Jackson is Shamika's twin, and sister is Trandon's twin. Uh, just as far as mannerisms, things that they do that are the same or similar. And um, I just appreciate them. All right, y'all. So here is the state of things at the moment. And we're getting ready. I'm getting ready to um, start working a little magic. It's all going to be different from what you're used to seeing. So I'm getting ready to get started in here. And I can't wait for the transformation. Here we are. Uh, look at the dogs on duty. They are on duty. They do not play about. They guarding this house. And Mama only makes casual appearances while Gwen, she everywhere. Doesn't matter where he is, Gwen is always somewhere where Jackson is. So here I am, I'm just vacuuming up a little bit. Try to make sure that we clean as we, you know, move things around so that when I'm moving them, they're semi-clean. But of course, it's only so much you can do uh, because I'm getting ready to move pieces of furniture. I wanna make sure that where I'm moving it is clean and you know the fluff is always around. Now. We're getting ready to remove some of these darker pieces. We have always had dark pieces in the house, the blacks. And I just thought, hey, let's try something a little bit different. Let's see if we can't, you know, for lack of a better term, lighten things up, especially for the spring. We may bring those pieces back for the fall, winter time, 
when you want to be more home, homey and cozy. But for now, this is going to work. Do you want this? Why are you sitting on the floor? Put in the boot. I didn't do cardio yesterday. That's going to be the focus of today. If we can't get all this crunch move, you'll be done plenty of cardio by the time it's all over. Might throw away the Yes, mom. And it's not strong either. Plus, I already have a Rihanna Duff versus Beyonce party waiting for me. I have neither of those, but I have a few Well, they're going to play some good songs. I need oh, to move this sister. Rihanna's anyway. Beyonce, look. Sister, I have to move this. Especially since she's not in the country. Hey, some people like country. Not me. Where are we? Uh-huh. On the other side of the house. Ouch. Watch your foot. Watch your foot. Another reason that we don't wear shoes. They don't protect you when you're wearing any of this. No protection. all right y'all we're in the garage i need the garage door open and i have a couple pieces in this garage that we're going to be taking out and using in the living room space so we're opening up the garage door because we got to move a couple pieces out so we can get the pieces out if that makes any sense okay so there's a, a brown piece under here that is coming out and then I have a um, I have a, uh, a cedar chest that's gonna be our new coffee table and the kids are not trusting the process are you trusting the process children no no but I know the process is all going to work out for my good and we know all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord so I love the Lord I can't talk about nobody else around here but it's all gonna work out 
What are there like multiple Trust goods? the process. What are there multiple conflicting goods? What are you talking about? Like, we don't believe in multiple nothing. No matter there's, there's We good, believe there's in a triune being. That's it. That's else. all the multiples we and believe in. I don't want to hear nothing about that. Like, nothing. How does that work? What? Like there's good for you. Else, and you both love God. No, it's whatever is good for God is the thing. But it don't matter what's good for, good for me. For no, it's not for us. So we go with what's good for him, not what's good for me. Right. See, now your sister just tried to keep that from falling, and here you go. Bob, yeah. put that thing over here. Anybody want a kid? Because I'm about to get rid of one. No, what he what his word says is good for him. Yeah. And if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for you. And, now let's get this thing the moved. Word says for the Working her life. This Filled with strength and independence. She's an independent woman. Jackson, I need you to take this mat. This, this can't this one mat out. Okay. Alright, that's a good idea. Okay. Alright. I think we can still put it there. I think I can, but I gotta make sure it's on even. Yes, and put that full one up there. That one has rice in it. Rice? Rice. We need to write on it, probably. If it's heavy, has beans in it. If it's okay, it's flour. If it's really light, it's rice. Okay, let's put this one up there. Uh, turn. Yeah, that's fine. I want to make sure we can get to the handle. There was another bean. Another you bean. Yeah. A no. fifth bean. That must be beans. Um... Look at God. He didn't want us to have to move that twice. Here you go. Look. Up there. This is my situation because I need to make sure it's on the level ground. Okay. So I'm working in sections here. I got some space clean, cleaned out in the, in the garage to put the bookshelf out there. And as you can see on the left, there is that brown piece that we took out of the uh, garage. It's an old music, ca uh, music cabinet or like record player cabinet. We got that from like a Salvation Army close to 20 years ago. Oh, back in the garage again. Just putting the storage things that were sitting on top of that brown piece on this bookshelf. I'd originally planned on getting rid of the bookshelf. I was gonna put it on one of those uh, trade groups. Oh yeah, those for free. And things. then it was like, wait a minute, you can use both of those. So I'm using both of those in my garage. All right, y'all, so it's the next morning. And this is kind of the state of things at the moment. I got to go to work today. And, um, but what I was telling sister is when it's summertime, I like to have the door open, which means nothing here. That's kind of sticking out, protruding. So people can come right through. And if you notice, it's opened up the space quite a lot to move the couch and the rug from this side of the room. I do love these new bookshelves, but they are very much smaller than my other bookshelves. I mean, not too, too terribly. We just, There were just some taller books we couldn't fit. And um, so we're leaving this couch here. That's staying. Curtains will be changed. This piece is leaving. That's going to visit a friend. And then this piece is staying forever. Very good. Hey, Jack. And then I'm going to do a uh, some type of, uh, you know, pictures or something up there. I've got stuff up here that is for decorations. I need smaller lamp shades, but for now, that's what I have. I thought about um, painting this, but I think it will go fine with the color scheme that's going to be in here. This is a cedar chest. This is full of... Um, sheets and curtains and all kinds of things. I probably will go through that at some point and take out the things that don't match, don't mate, or we don't need those anymore. Um, when I get back from work, oh, this bookshelf that used to be over there, we thought about, I don't have any space for it, but we thought about moving it outside where the seating area is, but I don't really want my books out there. It does rain and stuff. So for right now, it's going to stay here. I'm going to put some things on top of it 
but um, we're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. It's a little slower than I thought or planned, but that's because we worked in the garage. So I'll take you guys out there. All the black and red stuff is going, but we did work out in the garage. And um, it looks so much better out here. So all of our flooring is there. So when the guy comes to do the flooring, um, that will move and then we'll have that underneath space. So there used to be a white uh, plastic thing here. And I just took one of those black bookshelves out and put all of the workout stuff that needed a home on that, which pushed it back in quite a bit because it's not as... The width is not as wide, so that worked out real well in that space because I was going to give those bookshelves away. Uh, I came in and cleaned off this particular shelf, although my son just put that right there. Thank you, Jackson. Um, very good. And uh, we condensed some things combined, made some space. I used some S-hooks up here to hang some of these things that were just on the floor course we have the exercise ball and then I use this other bookshelf right here because we took the brown piece out just as a storage so now instead of the toilet paper sitting on the couch it's now sitting up there and um, I got rid of quite a few clothes off of this rolling rack those tables take up a lot of space but it is what it is we moved the couch off of the mat so now they have almost all the space for working out. As soon as we move the flooring, I'm gonna put the Christmas tree, we're gonna pack it up a little bit more, box it up, tape it, and put the Christmas tree under there so it won't be sitting on the couch. Um, but yeah, that's what this turned out looking like. So much better. I mean, it may not look like anything to you, but that's because you don't live here. I still need to go up here. There's some things I need to get rid of we don't do as much entertaining as we used to. And so some of those things are just irrelevant at the moment. But that's where we are for now. Like I said, this project took way longer than what I had planned. So this is Monday afternoon uh, and I'm finishing up. So I got a few pictures from Hobby Lobby. And then I picked up one from Family Dollar, I think. And now what I'm doing is putting it on the or to see what the gallery wall would look like before I actually put the gallery wall up. So, um, I've never done a gallery wall that really worked out well for me. So I wanted to kind of put these out first before I actually decided to put holes in my wall because I don't like holes in my wall. But here I am um, just taking off all those you know, all the cardboard pieces. I think that, let me see. The one, those two signs came from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. And then the big black wall sign also came from Hobby Lobby. And uh, this little flower, that came from Dollar General. Um, making spaces in my home is just something that I really enjoy. I like to keep a homely, feel i like to keep a welcoming feel um i don't mind spending if i need to be able to make you know our house a home i always think about people when i'm doing things like this who might stop by who's coming over you know saturday suppers or whatever the case might be and so i just want to make sure that i'm always prepared for you know, what's next? What's coming next? Who's coming next? And that type of thing. I always want people to feel welcome in my home every single time they come. And so doing this is just a part of that process. And it also allows a little bit of my creativity and personality to come out. So now I'm just trying to see what works best, what would be good for the wall as a whole. Uh, we used to have one big solid wall uh, wall picture on this one wall. Now that's what I like. Didn't turn out that way, y'all. Because by the time I got it going on the wall, I forgot what I had. I should have snapped a picture of it. But it's all good. It all worked out in the end.
and here it is you guys this is our living room um, this is what we came up with I was thankful I didn't have to paint that piece I am gonna add some greenery uh, faux plant or something on top so I don't have to worry about watering it and this is what it looked like we do hope that you were motivated to do something in your space by coming to hang out with us today if you like this video be sure and give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already we appreciate everything you do for us at one mom and we're praying that the lord would bless you exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ask or think we'll see you next time bye now